Welcome back business owners. In today's video, we'll dive into an important aspect of purchasing a new van, financing options and their impact on your financial accounts. As an accountant, I understand the significance of making informed decisions when it comes to managing your business's finances. If you don't already know me, I'm Lucy Johnson, owner here at Simplex Accounting, and I'm here to help you on your business journey. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Before we explore financing options, it's crucial to assess your business needs regarding the new van. Determine the purpose, size and capacity requirements, as well as any specific features necessary for your operations. This assessment will help you to choose the right financing option that aligns with your business requirements. Setting a budget and analysing cash flow. Once you understand your business needs, it's time to set a budget and analyse your cash flow. This step is crucial to determining the financing option that best suits your financial situation. So consider the following factors. Budget. Assess your financial position and set a realistic budget for purchasing the new van. This budget should align with your business's current cash flow and projected future income. Cash flow analysis. Analyze your cash flow to understand how the financing option will impact your day-to-day -day operations. It's essential to ensure that your business can comfortably handle the monthly payments associated with the chosen financing method. Exploring financing options. Let's now explore some common financing options available for purchasing a new van. Each option has its impact on your financial accounts. Option one is a business loan. A traditional business loan involves borrowing a specific amount from a financial institution, which you repay over a predetermined period, usually with interest. This option will create a liability on your balance sheet, reflecting the outstanding loan amount. Leasing. Leasing a van allows you to use it for a fixed period, typically with lower monthly payments compared to a loan. As a leasee, you don't own the van, but you make regular lease payments. These lease payments are recorded as operating expenses in your profit and loss statement. Higher purchase agreement. Under a higher purchase agreement, you make regular payments over a set period until you fully own the van. This option creates both an asset, so the van, and a liability, the outstanding payments, on your balance sheet. Tracking and reporting financing in your financial accounts. To accurately reflect your financing options in your financial accounts, it's essential to track and report the transactions correctly. Here's how it typically works. Balance sheet. If you opt for a loan or higher purchase agreement, the outstanding loan amount appears as a liability on your balance sheet. As you make payments, the principal portion reduces the liability, while interest expenses are recorded in the profit and loss statement. Profit and loss statement. Lease payments under a leasing agreement are recorded as operating expenses in your profit and loss statement. These expenses directly affect your net income. Cash flow statement. Cash outflows for loan repayments or lease payments are reflected in the financing activity section of your cash flow statement. Monitoring this statement will help you assess your business's cash flow health. Understanding the financing options available for purchasing a new van is vital to make informed decisions that align with your business's financial goals. Xero is a fully making tax digital compliant accounting software to help you run your business by sending invoices, creating expense claims, viewing reports, and helping you get paid quicker. It has a large variety of apps that you can choose from in the app store, so any apps that you currently use can integrate seamlessly through Xero's app store. 
HubDoc is used for any manual data entry. So these can include any kind of receipts and invoices as attachments on your transactions in Xero. You can also have fixed assets and inventory directly through Xero. Xero's main dashboard is really user friendly. So it has your bank account, cash in and cash out, accounts to watch, bills that you need to pay and invoices that need to be paid to you. Thanks Xero, back to the video. Remember to assess your business needs, set a budget and analyse your cash flow before exploring financing options. Additionally, ensure proper tracking and reporting of your chosen financing option in your financial accounts to maintain accurate records. That wraps up today's episode on purchasing a van for your small business. I hope this was really helpful for you and easy to understand. Remember, there are lots of options, so please do speak to your accountant. A financial advisor may be the best person to speak to to help push you in the right direction. If you have any questions or need any further assistance, please do not hesitate to reach out or leave a comment below. And please do not forget to subscribe to our channel below for more helpful content. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, bye.